Hello, this is Matt Serka. Welcome back to Abandonware LP. We are continuing our playthrough of The Magic Candle 2, The 4 and 40, a 1991 role-playing game by Minecraft. At the end of our last video, we had found a treasure chest. And within that treasure chest were directions to another treasure chest, presumably. Uh, one that's buried underground. Um, so those directions told us to go 40 paces south and 9 paces east. So we could try counting our paces as we went 40 paces south. But we'd hit a wall. So we won't be able to use that method to find the treasure chest. Instead, we'll have to use the game's coordinate system to tell us the right place to dig. So you can see in the top right corner of the screen, uh, the current coordinates of our party are 7, 6. And this actually corresponds to the coordinates of the selected party member. So right now, Perrin is selected, so he's at 7, 6. If we select Luca, the coordinates become 7, 7. Subia is at 8, 7. Fizz is at 9, 7, and so forth. So because Perrin is at 7, 6, and the chest where we found the directions is one north of him, uh, we know that the um, coordinates of the chest are 7, 5. And I'm going to assume that that's the starting point um, of the directions. So if we go 9 paces east and 40 paces south from 7, 5, we're adding 9 and 40 to 7 and 5, and we get 1645. So let's head to 1645 and see if we can find that treasure. So Fizz is reminding us once again that um, we need walk water spells to go over these pools of water. Uh, this is just the first small pool um, that we have to cross. Um, hopefully we won't have to cross any more uh, because we're running very low on walk water spells. Sakar says, there was supposed to be a treasure chest buried around here, wasn't there? Or did we already dig it up? Sorry, Luca, but you know that memory was never a strong point for me. Nice. So Sakar senses that treasure. Um, what would we say? 1645. 16. Okay. So it should be right where Luca is right now. Okay, 50 coins, four emeralds, oh, and Luca will take it. Okay, that's good. Um, we are, have been running low on coins after we purchased two spell books in our last video. So 50 coins and four emeralds uh, is definitely, it's definitely good. Um, it might help us out of our financial um, troubles that we're having. Um, however, the chest did not contain a crystal key, which is what I was hoping it might contain. Um, so we still have no way to open the crystal door to Deraum, uh, which is um, deeper within the cellars. Um, so we're going to have to head to the surface again and um, chase down some more leads that we had 
um, sort of uh, procured from various townsfolk uh, in our last video. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, running log walk water. I can't remember if we had, I think we have a spell book that teaches us walk water now. I'm not positive, but I seem to remember that. And that would be very, um, a very good thing to um, learn more of uh, before we try to take on these sellers once again. I do really love how we have been um, going down into these sellers uh, discovering something, getting stuck, and then having to um, return to the surface uh, to get some more information, get a new spell book, uh, and then go back to the cellars, make a little more progress. Um, that kind of going back and forth makes me feel like the cellars are a real place rather than the, um, you know, sort of video game dungeon approach where you go inside, you do what you have to do, you fight the final boss, and you never go back. Um, not to say that that's necessarily bad, but I just like this as a, a change of pace. So, everyone is getting tired. Um, I want to walk us over to Teller Main. Oh, so close. Let's, okay. Um, so in our reference card, there's a map of Teller Main that we've been uh, using. So let's take a look at that. Um, there's a guest house to the east, uh, which we may want to go to to rest before we uh, keep going because everybody's about to drop of exhaustion. I think that might happen before we get to the guest house, unfortunately, um, but we'll try. So close. Um, let's not waste a lot of time. Let's just have um, everybody who's tired use a Sherman mushroom. It's like a super boost of caffeine. Get them all energetic again. Great. So now we have enough energy to walk around Teller Main and um, figure out uh, a few things. Um, let me just double check my audio levels, make sure I'm still recording, and I am. Good. Okay. Here are some things that we want to look into. One is that there's a man named Kemrul. Um, we know that he's sometimes seen walking around the park out in Tellermain, and that he has a house here. So I'm hoping that means that his house is somewhere um, near the park. Um, we also know that we want to go talk to Misha, uh, who is, um, I guess, a, um, a waitress or a server at uh, a nearby tavern. Um, and she uh, sort of wasn't interested in speaking with us last time because nobody in our party had enough charm. Um, but now we have Perrin, who is very charming, and he might be able to strike up a conversation with her, and um, we'll see what she can tell us. And then finally, we're on the lookout for a bard named Rillowin, um, who knows the song uh, Mage's Joy, uh, which I guess we want to learn. So let's start um, with Kemrul and trying to find his house. Um, the park is to the west of us, and the, our house is right over here to the east of the park, and there are some to the south as well. So let's, oh, okay, no response at that one. Um, nobody is in this house. I am hoping that that's not his house. Um, we might want to walk around the park a little bit to see if he's out and about right now. 
Um, maybe he left his house unlocked. Lover's Corner. Hmm. Right now it's very late at night. Or no, it's actually dinner time. It's the evening. So um, if anybody is going to be at Lover's Corner, maybe it'll happen a little bit later. I don't know. Ooh, we have a little animation going here. Somebody is bouncing a ball. Uh, let's talk with these people. I don't think either of these people is Kemwell, but we can talk to them anyway. Oh, we are all still armed. Uh, let's have everyone sheath their weapons and let's change our formation back to one, three, two, four, six, just to have Luca here in the top left. It's just what I'm used to. Uh, let's talk to this woman. Well met, adventurer. Misha has her eyes on a stranger, they say. Ooh, okay. Now I'm definitely intrigued and want to go speak with her. Never met a day I didn't like. Let's see if she can tell us about Misha. She is Pharaoh's daughter. Hmm, okay. And um, what about Kemal? No, she doesn't know or won't tell us. Let's talk with this woman. Osman says he will never ever sail again. Okay, well, Osman, we had um, heard about uh, last time. Um, we know that he is, um, he knows about Oshkran Island, and he also knows about the quarry from which um, stones to build Castle Oshkran were extracted. Um, so Osman is actually on the top of my list for people who might be able to tell us something about the cellars and that crystal door. Um, but we have to find him first. Let's see if she knows anything about where Osman might be. Oh, perfect. He lives in a house north of the Eastern Breeze, which is a, uh, which is a tavern. That is very helpful. Um, house north of Eastern Breeze. I know I said in a previous video that you kind of have to wander around and try different houses um, and knock on doors and say random names to find people. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe um, you can just walk around and ask random strangers and that's how you actually can pinpoint the correct houses that um, correspond with the people that you're looking for. Um, that would be very uh, good because there are a lot of houses. The kid says, well met, adventurer. Melver says he can turn an orc into a frog. Who is Melver? He goes to walk in the park after dark. Melver in park after dark. Okay. Yes, indeed. Nice weather for this time of year. Okay, the man says, well met, adventurer. Rebnard is sick with worry, they say. What about, is he? Ah, I am proud to serve our king in any way I can. And also likes the weather. So, several of those people were very helpful. How about you, well met, adventurer? Petro says he can out drink Polo any day. Who is Petro? If he's not home, he would be at the tavern. So, Petro, home, tavern. Maybe that was the house that uh, was, was empty earlier that we saw, I don't know. Um, again, there are lots of houses, so. Uh, oh, does it say different news every time? Oh no, that's gonna be difficult. Jimbo lives in Ketrop. Wow, we're getting so many names. We're gonna have to go back to Ketrop. Um, what was the name we missed? Petra uh, Polo. He's probably at the library. So many names. Such a web of information that we have to keep track of and um, hopefully it'll all eventually lead us somewhere. 
And so far it has in a few cases, so I have hope. So we have not found chem rule. Oh, who are you? Well, Matt Adventure. Okay. <laughs> Taxes will increase, I hear. Perhaps the first time, if I ever, if I ever encountered that dialogue when I was playing this as a seven-year-old or however old I was, that would have been the first time I encountered the concept of taxes, except maybe in SimCity. Um, no dogs allowed in the park, although uh, maybe this game is older than SimCity. I don't know. Have to uh, check the date on that one. Yes, we have visited Ketrop. Okay, where are we? We have just made it through the park, and there are some more houses to our west. So let's start knocking on more doors. Oh, no response on that one. No response on that one. No response. I think it might be because it's, um, well, I mean, it, I think it's just not late enough. Uh, people might be out and about. Um, let's go back to this stretch of houses uh, later in the day. Um, and also, I mean, there are other houses that are farther from the park, um, but I'm really hoping that uh, we don't have to start going into those because it's, you know, half a dozen just in one corner of um, the city. So um, let's hope that the problem is that it's dinner time and everybody's out. Um, for dinner and not that it's that we have the wrong house, but let's find um, The tavern because there are a couple things we want to do there and where is that? Uh, it is just south of us. I know we've been there once or twice already um, I don't have the greatest sense of direction and I think that's it right here Oh, that looks like a bard well, Met Adventure, my name is Rillowin the Bard. Can you come up? No, he can't join us. Sorry, I'm getting a little eager, hoping he can join. Uh, advice. When played to the right audience, a song may be all you need. Okay, and we know that he knows the song, Mage's Joy. Ah, yes, that particular tune has a strange effect on slimes. I know the piece well. R Rillowin the Bard takes a lyre and begins to play Mage's Joy. The party pays close attention. Oh, I was hoping we were going to get some, some 1991 music, computer music, um, but uh, we're just have to, we're going to have to imagine that. After a while, they join in the music. Mage's Joy is now in the repertoire. Hmm. That's nice. So everybody knows, um, everyone in your party knows the same songs as everyone else. Oh, wow, a lot of information here. There we go. Long live the king, the happy traveler, and mage's joy. I don't know what the other ones do and why only Luca and Subia know the happy traveler. I... Huh. Well, if we happen to find um, an instrument um, or find someone who can play an instrument, uh, then we will um, try these out. Um, so there are other things we wanted to do. We wanted to talk to Misha, who's here, but it can't be Luca who does it. It has to be Perrin. Greetings, Perrin. It's good to see you again. Oh, maybe they know each other. Um, seek my friend Shiria if you wish to learn a magic song. Nice. Okay, so before I move on to the next... Um, sort of topic of conversation, I need to flip to a different page of my notes and um, write down these names. So, Sharia knows magic song. 
Let's see if she can tell us the title of the song. Erg's Dream. I wonder what it does. I wonder what any of them do. Um, and we wanted to ask about where she is. Sharia is left Telermaine in search of her father. She never even knew her father. She never knew her father. Then one day, Sephil suggested that Sharia should talk to his brother. That's all I know. Okay, who's Sephil? Who's his brother? Sephil's a beggar here in town. I think I know, I think I might know where he is. I think he's to the south. So Sephil is beggar and no, he knows Sharia. Um, let me just make sure I got that right. So Sharia, okay, so she left Teller in search of her father. And, okay, and I don't know who Sephil's brother is. All right. Um, flip back. I think I might want to bring on another party member. Because um, I think he might have um, a loot. I can't remember, but I think he might be kind of a bard. Um, but before that, just want to see what we're going to do next. So, Melvers in the park after dark. Um, Petro, I don't see him anywhere. Are you Petro? No. Um, is there another tavern? Eastern Breeze is a black rooster tavern to the south. So I'll check that one, looking for Petro. Um, okay, let's prioritize here, because there's just, uh, <laughs> there are many options. Um, let's start by checking to see if the man uh, to the south is Suffol. Um If he's not out there, because it is very late at night, um, we're going to go back to the uh, houses near the park and see if we can find uh, Camerul. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, so let's um, start by uh, having Luca transfer to Buzz a Mind Stone. And let's talk with Buzz, assign him to uh, meet us in the Ashkran stronghold. Buzz's loyalty is very high, so I'm not worried that he will um, leave the stronghold early and he can keep Commander Grolf company. So let's talk to our friend Raleigh here and invite him to join our party. Um, let's see if I was right about Raleigh and his abilities. Uh, he's wearing a suede outfit with chainmail on top. Um, he seems to be pretty, I guess, balanced uh, as a character. He's very brave. Um, he okay, good. I think he has higher archery than anybody else in our party, so we'll have to make sure he has a bow. Uh, tracking. I'm not sure what that does, but uh, he has a good amount of points in it. Oh, and he's a hunter. Um, everybody in our party has some hunting ability, but um, I think this is the highest we've seen. Um, he does have a bow already. That's good. And he has a lyre. Good. All right. And now which songs does he know? Does he already know the same ones as everybody else? Uh, did I miss that? Um, Long Live the King and the Happy Traveler. Okay, so... I think that means that we need to talk to our friend here again and ask him about Mage's Joy. Great. We're all musicians. And let's just make sure that he knows it now. Whoa, what just happened? Um, I guess Raleigh uh 
did some improvisation and learned a different song when he was supposed to learn Mage's Joy. I don't know what Lullaby of Gu is. Maybe it's supposed to be Lullaby of Gartex? Um, that's strange. Uh, oh, and there are different people in the tavern now. Has time passed? Um, well, let's try learning Mage's Joy one more time. Um, uh, let's have Luca be the one who asks this time. This is all very strange. Uh, um, Mage's Joy. Mage's Joy is now in the repertoire. Okay, Raleigh. Maybe I wasn't looking at Raleigh's. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the replay here. This is very confusing. Okay, well, he knows Mage's Joy now. Maybe he always knew Lullaby of Go. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll, I'm really gonna have to look at that later. Um, okay, uh, but people have shown up. I didn't realize that could happen. I don't know when it happened. There's Nemo. I don't know who that is. You must have a halfling company in your adventures. I recommend Tough or Perrin. Well, Perrin is the one talking to you right now, so I guess much appreciated. He lives in Ketchup, the new village northwest of Tellermaine. Good. And what was the other one's name? Tun? No, it was Tough. Great name. He lives in Ketchup, the new... Oh, same one. Okay, well, let's... Let's write that down. Again, uh, many, many names to um, follow up on here. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of make a list of, of priorities um, for our next video so that we can try to stay, try to stay focused. Um, okay, we already know about that. And let's talk to this man. Okay, so these are just people stopping in for some, some late night dinner or honestly probably some drinks it's a tavern after all okay great so i think what we said is that we were first going to return to the park and see if we could find camel um either in the park or at his house where are we now we want to go this way. Oh, not that way. One more south. Um, are these houses? No. Is the no oh, park is the north. Oh, still no one. Oh, okay. Camel? Yes! Alright. Good. We found Camel. Oh, we should have maybe Perrin talk to him. Well met adventurer, my name is Camel. advice. When you seek lost knowledge, the library is a good place to start. Knowledge. So much of it is buried within ancient Elden works, waiting for skilled scholars to uncover. I do my best, but I have so much to learn. The legacy of a wasted youth. If the Eldens were with us still, Rebnard certainly would have fewer worries. Our King Rebnard needs help, the kind of help that only an extraordinary hero might supply. Okay, what else did he talk about? He talked about a library. Talk to the librarian there, he may guide you. And, oh, I think there was one more thing we wanted to ask about. It was scholars. 
Many scholars have arrived from Deruvia since the Telemain Library and the one in Castle Oshkorn were reopened. Fazil, Rabonkar, Brother Polo, Father Orban. Okay, a lot of names. Um, let me just make a quick note here. Um, and I think we've met at least one of these. And I know that Rabon Kar is on the map uh, of Tellermain as a, as a location. So I guess now we've um, learned what that means. Um, I think we met Brother Polo uh, in the castle. Um, but let's go through asking about each one. Ask about Fazil. Fazil works at his house here in Tellermain. The librarian lets him take some books and scrolls home. All right, another house we have to find. Um, how about Rabon Carr? Rabon Carr is an expert in dwarven lore and culture. He lives by the Music Academy. I don't think we need to write that down because he is on our map. Yep. Um, good. Uh, but let's let's write down dwarven lore. Okay. And Polo, a scholar among adventurers. Now this is truly an event to remember. An event to remember? Huh. I am. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Just the fact that, oh, the fact that he is a scholar who can join adventurers. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, and Orban. Oh, and also, is that the same? I guess he's trying to signal to us that um, both of those individuals can join our party uh, if, we, if we invite them, so. That's good to know. I think we already knew that about Brother Polo. I don't know where Father Orban lives, but um, yeah, that's a lot of party members. Um, I think that uh, what Brother Polo told us is that he is much better suited to um, studying in a library than uh, delving through a crypt or uh, out in the wilderness. So um, I think what we are... Um, what would be most helpful is if we could have Polo or Orban join our party and then assign them to research a topic in a library. Um, I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't really know how um, long you have to leave them there or how you ask them to research a particular topic. Um, I guess we'll just have to try it at some point. Uh, that might honestly be the way to get information about that crystal door. Um, okay, uh, I know that we had said we want to check uh, to see if we can find the beggar Sephil um, south, and we had forgotten about that, but uh, we'll go check on that now. It's late at night, so he might not be there. Oh, he's not there. Okay. Um, you know, let's let's keep chasing that um, that quest um, because I, I do want to kind of stay a little focused. Um, I think what I want to do is to pass the time is have Luca learn resurrect. Um, okay, we need to transfer. Uh, Uh, Luca has to transfer to Fizz, uh, his original spellbook, Thelmis, and now that frees Fizz up to transfer to Luca Damaro, which is the spellbook that we want. Um, Luca will learn Resurrect. Um, Subia, uh, I think she's a good hunter, I can never remember. Yeah, I shouldn't say hunt. I think everybody should probably hunt. Um, Fizz can learn a spell. Uh, he seems to already have a lot in those. Let's have a transfer to Fizz uh, the book Sabano. I didn't find too many useful spells in Sabano. Um, I guess, uh, I think Assess. I don't know what these do. Let's um, 
let's take a look at the manual uh, and see what these spells do because I have forgotten um, and I just want to keep track of that because I know magic is very useful in Gertax. Um, page 43 is the one we want. We're looking at the book of Sabano. Um, so locate can be used either to avoid conflict or to find it. When a locate spell is cast, the party becomes aware of all the forces of darkness in the vicinity. It can only be cast while traveling through the countryside. Its duration depends on the skill of the caster. Okay. Um, the spell repel is the only way to resolve conflicts with the giant poisonous snakes, spiders, and scorpions that infest the layers of darkness. Not normal beasts, not even monsters. These creatures are constructs of Gertex's dark magic and cannot be harmed by weapons or other spells. Each re repel spell clears a path for one person to take one more step. You may need to cast several to clear a path for your entire party. Wow, interesting. So that seems a lot like the pierce spell that we had used um, to get rid of uh, energy field um, sort of uh, shards uh, down in the cellars um, to, to make our way to that chest. Um, but I guess uh, these are a different type of barrier. Um, that's That might be what we want to um, get, we might I want Fizz to learn now because it seems like uh, one of these times we're gonna need that and it'll be better to have it than to have to go back and, uh, and learn it in a room somewhere. But let's see one last thing. Assess gives you knowledge of your opponents in combat. If you are facing opponents of a type you are not familiar with, casting Assess can help you plan your strategy and your tactics. That seems very useful. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and get Repel. Um, just get a, a few of that. We'll have Perrin hunt, Raleigh hunt, and Sakar hunt. Let's begin. And um, let's, I think Fizz has probably learned many repels. Good. So we'll have him uh, assess, learn assess and continue. Fizz can't continue the current activity. Okay. And let's have everyone sleep for a little while. Get their energy back up just a bit and get it to about... 11, 11.30 in the morning. Great. So I'm hoping this man is Sefil. We're going to have Perrin talk to him. He's our most charming party member after all. Excellent. Well met, adventurer. My name is Sefil. Uh, be generous to a poor beggar, sir. Generous. I would consider an offer of 50 coins very generous indeed. Okay. Um, I think we can swing that. Uh... Let's have, um, let's offer him coins, 50. I'm most grateful for your generosity, sir. In return, let me suggest that you visit Usa soon. You can gather much information there, but heed this warning. Many of the folks in Usa are rogues and thieves. Okay, what is Usa? Um, Usa is a small fishing village on the northern coast of the throat of Gertex. My brother Ahmed lives there. Him you can trust. Just be sure to tell him you are my friends. Okay. So, um, again, gotta flip, uh, flip my pages here. <clears throat> and write down that um, Ahmed is Sephil's brother. Ah. And we have just learned something very important. Um, I believe that um, Sharia had talked to Sephil and Sephil had told her to visit uh, Ahmed in Usa, his brother. So uh, I guess that tells us where we might find Sharia. Um, but let's see if he can tell us about her. 
No, he can't. Um, yeah, so I guess that's just leaving us to connect the dots on our own. Um, that uh, Sharia spoke with Sephel. Sephel told her to visit his brother. We have just learned that his brother's name is Ahmed, and he lives in Usa, which is a fishing village uh, in the throat of Gertex. Um, again, um, Gertex is the continent across the sea that's been overrun by the forces of darkness, we're told. Um, right now, we're on an island called Oshkran Island uh, that has been uh, sort of recaptured uh, by the Children of Light, and it's meant to be a staging ground for the eventual invasion of um, Gertex. So uh, at some point, we're going to have to cross the sea and uh, begin exploring Gertex um, to see what can be found there before the Children of Light destroy it. Um, so I guess when we do that, one of our first stops will be to try to find uh, Sharia in uh, the fishing village of Usa. Um, I think we're going to stop there for now. There are so many names and so many pieces of information that uh, we learned uh, in the last hour or so. I'm going to have to organize them in some ways so that we can uh, come up with a clear plan for uh, our next video and um, hopefully get some more information about Gertex, if indeed we're going to go there next. Um, or um, I'm still holding out hope that we'll eventually find someone who knows about that crystal door beneath uh, Castle Oshkran. Um, but that will have to wait. Thank you for watching, uh, and I hope to see you here next time.